And now, it's time for another Dice Tower Review with Tom Vassell. Hey folks, today we're taking a look at Epic Roll. Now, I'm a little annoyed going into this game, right? Because they use the word epic, and I doubt anything in this size box can be epic. I'm willing to give it a shot, of course, but and it, it does include rolling dice, even though it looks a little generic, but we'll have to wait and see. Let's take a look at the game, and then I'll come back and tell you all the reasons I don't like it. Oh, spoilers. <laughs> Two to three players are going to play, and you're going to each take a warrior, um, or you're going to take a mage, or you're going to take the uh, huntress, and you're going to get the matching die for them. Now, these dice are uh, somewhat similar. You'll find swords, and you'll find shields, and sometimes you'll find double swords. So the the green elf gets... I like how there's, there's wizard, warrior, elf. Elves can't be wizards or warriors. They are just elves. Anyhow... So the elf has swords, the elf has no blank sides. Swords on every side except shields on two sides. The wizard has a blank side, but they also have, and they have no shields at all, but they have two of the double swords on their side. And the warrior has one blank side, one double sword, and one shield. All right, so players are going to be picking their warrior, and when it's your turn, you're going to move to the first battle, and the turn order goes like this. So when you get your turn order, you are going to first roll to see what kind of monster you're fighting. I'm fighting a mummy. Now, what does that mean? That means we look down here and we say, oh, a mummy is three hit points. That's it. If I had rolled a skeleton, I would be fighting something with five hit points. If I had, been, if I had rolled a ghoul, I'd be fighting something with four hit points. That's the only differentiation between the monsters. Then I'm going to take the monster die, which is swords and blanks. All right, and I'll take my die, and we roll those together. I did two hits to the monster. Oh, I start with six hit points. I do two hits to the monster. Boom, boom. He does one hit to me. I go again. I did two more hits to the monster. He does one hit to me. Boom. He's dead. I get a card. Ooh, yay. This means I can heal a life point later on, or I can do a damage. No, I can heal a life point later on. I'm just going to spend that now. What do I care? Now I can stop, in which case my figure stays there. Or I can fight again. I'll fight again. I'll go to the next one. Who am I fighting now? A ghoul. Four hit points. My hit points, though, stay the same at five. I will now roll again. Uh, they hit me for one. I hit them for nothing. Neither one of us hit each other. They hit me for one, I hit them for nothing. Ooh, the ghoul, oh, the ghoul's about to kill me. Now, I could run away here. If I run away, I just roll the die. That's how much damage I take, the monster die, and then I'm done, and I get to stay here. But I would not run away. I'll keep fighting the monster. Nothing. I hit him for two. I roll again. He hits me for one. Oh, it's getting kind of fierce. He hits me for one, I'm dead. I lose any cards that I might be holding in my hand, and I go back here and wait for my next turn. Now the shields basically just mean if I roll a shield and a monster rolls a hit point, I block that hit point. Now, if you make it to the past the third battle, you go here, boop, boop, boop. What does that mean? That means for the next three battles, you will be rolling the brown and black monster die, which has ghost, banshee, zombies on it which are six, seven, and eight hit points. Ooh. However, you also, when you roll, and you'll, you'll also be rolling the uh, advanced monster die, which has a double sword on it. You get to roll a power die, though, which is different depending on which character you are. So if you're the wizard, it's a shield. If you're a warrior, it's a heal of life. And if you're an elf, you get an extra hit. So this, you would be rolling basically like this. Ooh, I hit him for one. He hit me for one. Ooh, I hit him for two. He didn't do anything. Ooh, I hit him for one. He hit me for one. And so on and so forth. Now, once you beat all the, the enemies, you will fight the Lich. The Lich here starts at nine. The first person to beat the Lich is the winner of the quote-unquote game. Folks, to be perfectly blunt, I cannot tell you how much I despise this game. Well, wait, I can. That's why I'm here. Okay. Mm. So many bad things. First, quality. Generic fantasy 
is out. I'm sorry. We, we, we got to stop doing this generic fantasy stuff. Okay, I, I, in the past, I've been very hard on these Euro games, which uh, have the same theme over and over again. And generic fantasy is just as bad, if not worse. Ooh, mummy. Ooh, lich. Ooh, warrior. Ooh, elf. Come on now. Put some effort into it. And no effort was put into this. From the box cover, there's like some small artwork on the board. But, I mean, we got a die here that says skeleton. Ooh, what's a skeleton? Five hit points. Really? Mm. There's like nothing to differentiate the monsters. There's nothing to differentiate the heroes. You have slightly different dice. This theme was slapped on. I could have put any theme on this game. And the production here is really bad. The dice look like they're poor quality. The tokens, the whole thing just looks like some print and play production. It's bleh on a component quality. But the game, epic! Are you kidding me? Knock this nonsense off. This game is not epic at all. In fact, it's barely a game at all. All you do on your turn is you roll dice and you see what happens. And then you can go, hmm, I wonder if I should go forward or go back. So what should I use in my knowledge? Is there a chance that I can go better or back? You don't know. You don't know what you're going to roll. It's just pure luck. You don't get to make any decisions in this game other than should I go farther or not or should I obviously play the card in my hand? Why would you not play the card in your hand? Some of the cards. Uh, I can heal a wound. Should I heal a wound or not? No kidding. Heal the wound. If the game is just going to play you, why are you doing this? Oh, it's, well, push your luck. You like push your luck, Vassal. You're right. I do like push your luck. And that's why it infuriates me so much when a game this patency looks like there was no effort put into it. I love games. I love to see what designers and publishers do. But don't you give me something like this. This is like the kid who you asked to write a thousand word essay on something. And they said, I like this a very, 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 very much. They put no effort into this. From the theme to the way the game plays. <laughs> All right. Really, though, there's no reason this game not to just push your luck all the way. Now, I do that in many games like Can't Stop and, and um, Ink and Gold, and I'll push my luck all the way and stuff, and that's silly, but there comes a time where you're like, look, at this point, numerically, you should stop. But in this game, numerically, you should go ahead. Maybe in the second half, there comes a point, but in the beginning, there's no reason not to push ahead. Sure, you might die, but you might not, and if you don't, you... It's very frustrating. I don't need to feel like I'm fighting mummies and liches, but you got to be really careful when you're using that theming on the game here. Um, when it looks this bad, this is the kind of game that I would be ashamed to bring to the table. I am ashamed for the people that I've made play this. There's no stress. There's no tension. You are rolling dice and seeing what happens. In the second half of your journey, everything ramps up, which means the monsters have more hit points, a better die, and then you get a power die, which you have to constantly remember what it does. Mm. Guys, there are thousands of games that come out each year. I feel pretty confident in saying Epic Rule is amongst the worst of them. Do not get it. Dice Tower Judgment. I hate this game! Thanks so much for watching the Dice Tower videos. Find more great videos and reviews as well as our top-rated audio podcast at Dicetower.com. You can also find other great shows at Dicetowernetwork.com. I'm Eric Summerer, and you've been watching The Dice Tower. The Dice Tower is sponsored by Cool Stuff, Inc., where you can find great games for great prices. Cool Stuff in stock. Check them out at CoolStuffInc.com. Shut the door. Boop. Boop.